I'm sure that you've seen this effect before in just about every type of video, from real estate videos to YouTube videos. It is commonly known as the split frame effect. And there is a way that you can create this for free in Fonica Pro with smooth animations and all. So where is this new split screen effect, Dylan? If you head to your effects browser, you would think you would just go to the S for split screen and click this. But this is a plugin for my buddy Dylan Bates. It basically does what I'm about to teach you, but with more customization and stuff and more animations. Instead, where you need to go is to the R for reframe. When you click on this, you might be confused. Dylan, what the heck are you talking about? I see call out, call out plus, and picture in picture. So the little hack that I stumbled across is we can create the split screen effect by using the picture in picture effect. So pretend we want to add the split screen effect to this whole section of the timeline. We would make an immediate cut by pressing command B at the playhead. Then you go ahead and select the clip and double click picture in picture to apply it to this clip. All you do is use your on-screen controls to adjust and position where you want your talking head to show up in your frame. So in this instance, I would like us to show up to the right and we want enough space so we can add text or different logos, whatever we'd like. And if you want to increase the scale or position of your talking headshot, you just adjust the on-screen controls here. So now when we play this back, we have this nice smooth animation that pushes the talking headshot to the right. Alternatively, if you wanted this to be to the left, you would just move it to the left. Or if you wanted it on the top half, you would adjust it to be the top half. So pretty simple, pretty easy. We are not quite there yet though, so stick with me. The next step is to add a background underneath your footage. I have this one already loaded up. I think this is from Motion VFX, but you could use any background you want from the internet, any picture, or you could hop into your titles and generators browser go all the way down to generators and perhaps use the 360 degree gradient. Throw that underneath your clips. And if you like, you can head into the inspector window and adjust the color. So I know that we would like to use white text over top of this. So I want the background to be somewhat dark. That looks good for this example. Something else you might wanna do is select the talking headshot that you added the picture in picture to and just create a small outline that'll show up on this middle edge to create kind of a dividing line. So you can then adjust the color if you want to change the color, but I kind of like it on this white here. So if we play this out, we have this nice animation, this nice split screen effect with a little dividing line that looks great. Now, if we want to continue it and you notice that it animated out there, so we would need to deselect, build out, take this picture and picture effect and just drag it onto this next shot. But because we have build in also selected, we would want to turn this off so that it doesn't animate in as well. So now this stays up and we have a continuous split screen effect going on. We also need to extend out the bottom generator so it fills the entire part of the timeline that we want this split screen effect to be applied to. Then press Control T to add a basic title to your timeline. And from here you can adjust the font, the size, what you would like that text to say. But well, we have to have something that animates this text in. And that's something that Final Cut really lacks are some solid built-in animation effects. But something that does really well is a plugin from my buddy Brad West, and it's called Pro Animate. It basically has like 240 animations that you can then add to text. You can add to different logos and stuff. So very useful and really fills a gap as far as what Final Cut Pro is missing with animations and keyframe easing. Some very important points that are gonna help you out before I show you what we just created. If you don't wanna go through this tedious process of setting everything up every time, just set it up once. So adjust your outline, adjust your different colors. You might want to toggle on the out animation. And by default, it's gonna be on center scale when you apply the picture in picture effect. This has it looking like this, which you probably don't want. You probably want to change this to full screen or play around with it and try left edge or right edge. By adjusting it to left edge, this will just push your talking head shot off. So then maybe you could reveal a different shot of the product you're talking about or whatever you're talking about. Play around with these different animations, but for this example, we will make it even. So we'll select to full screen and then hit save effects preset down here. This will allow us to save all the changes we just made. And actually I wanna press control command in the space bar to bring up the emoji window. And then maybe type in bar and add this thick bar to the name and then just call it my split screen full screen. 
hit save. And then the next time that you would like to add that split screen animation, you hit the effects browser, type in split, and you'll notice you have your preset right here. Double click to apply, and all of the different adjustments that you made will be applied to that clip. Here is a good rule of thumb. Your audio levels should be hovering around negative 12 to negative six decibels. This is a really useful free trick, but the color grading tricks that I go over in this video will help you out a bunch more. Make sure you subscribe if you have not already, and thank you so much for watching.